What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Before we get into this video, I want y'all to know this might be a little triggering for some people. I like to give warnings because I like warnings myself. So this video um, is not one of the most, it's not the happiest video. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about something that's very serious. Um, and this is about Krishan's sister's boyfriend, a.k.a. her baby father. He, um, he passed last night. Well, he was... I don't like to use the K word. So he was unalived by the police. Um, and the story on it is a bit crazy um, because the sister is speaking out and she's very, very much so upset. So we're going to talk about what his sister, what his sister said. And then uh, we're going to listen to this, then listen to what. I mean, I'm going to read to y'all what his sister said, and we'll go from there. Roy Stewart, I'm the Director of Public Affairs for the Baltimore County Police Department. Colonel Chris Kelly is to my right. He's the Chief of Operation, our Operations Bureau. Uh, before we get started, I do want to remind everyone that the Independent Investigations Division with the Attorney General's Office is conducting an investigation into this officer-involved shooting. So I may be limited in some of the information that I can share at this point. But what I can tell you is around 1130 today, our officers responded to a 911 call in the 400 block of Reisterstown Road. This was for a domestic disturbance mm -hmm. involving a male with a gun. When our officers arrived at that location, they were informed that the suspect had left on foot and our officers began to canvass the area at that point. A short time later, they located the suspect at a nearby gas station. When they approached the suspect inside that location, he pointed a weapon at our officers who then retreated and declared a barricade. A short time later, the suspect exited the gas station and engaged our officers. And it was during that time frame that the suspect sustained life-threatening injuries. Our officers rendered aid during that time. They did locate a weapon next to the suspect who was transported to a local hospital where he was later pronounced deceased. Three officers did- Kill my brother, bro. <laughs> they killed my- Okay, so here is the sister. Um, allegedly. Now she said, long live my brother. He was a king and I won't rest till I get justice for my brother. I love you. Um, you know, that's his name. Trauma. Um, forever. Nothing will stop me from getting the justice you deserve. The police shot my brother and killed him today. And they won't tell us where he is at or how many times he was shot. I need, I need my family. I need help. My family needs help. Then down here, they did cross out the name. So I don't know who this is because they didn't cross out the first name. But it says he was fussing with his girlfriend and she got the police on him saying he had a gun on him and was trying to shoot her. Uh, that's why the police came and shot him up like that. These girls are very wicked. She claims she's pregnant to the police, but I don't believe her. Uh, I don't think she's pregnant and she wanted him to get uh, unalived. I bet she doesn't have any kid. She's going to make up a lie. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I guess she's not pregnant. Um, saying that the baby uh, was unalive because she knows she was lying to the cops. So sorry for your loss, but his girlfriend is the one who got him unalive. So that was a comment from someone. How she would know that, like, those details is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. It was originally a domestic call. Look it up is what that says. So maybe that's how she does know. Uh, so if Chastity is the one on that phone, y'all know that recording is going to come out. So that would mean, and this is alleged, this is alleged, this is alleged. I do not know. Okay. Um, but allegedly, maybe she is the one that called the police and she's the one that said whatever she said. Apparently, um, uh, one of my supporters said that trauma and chastity was worse than Blueface and Krishan. They fought all the time, allegedly. So um, I don't know. Let's just keep watching. My brother right here, bro. Right here, they killed my brother, bro. <laughs> Baltimore, I mean, shit. Police in Baltimore County shot and killed a man late Tuesday morning after responding to a 911 call about a domestic disturbance, officials said. The initial call came from a hotel, but responders, responding officers found the suspect had fled on foot. 
They located him at a nearby gas station and convenience store soon thereafter. Baltimore County Police spokesman Joy Stewart said um, something about a news conference Tuesday evening. Uh, something about the store. He pointed a gun at them, Stewart said, and the officers retreated outside because he ended up going outside. And, um, yeah, that's just crazy. Man, I'm going to keep listening. If there's anything else. My name's Joyce. And they were apparently at that um, hotel um, when the domestic situation happened in the first place. Now, I did go look at Chastity's Instagram um, because I wanted to know, you know what I'm saying, what she was thinking, what was on her mind. And she is not, she's not talking the best. Uh, obviously, she's hurt as well. Um, I hope she wasn't the one that called the police and said that. However, I don't know what was going on. I have no idea. It could have been anything. He might have had a gun and was trying to do something to her. I don't know. Once again, I don't know. I'm a legend, just like y'all a legend. Um, I'm trying to get on Instagram if Instagram quit playing with me so I could see her Instagram. Meanwhile, Tasseki's just over there acting like nothing happened. But anyway, um, okay. I guess this didn't happen yet. Cried to mommy last night. Like, I don't think I can do this. I don't know, man. All right. Um, this is her music. This is a video, I believe, with him. And, oh, this was uh, her video. And he was there with her. He was there right behind her. But what she said, matter of fact, she didn't say that this was somebody else. They said, damn, only if I knew this would be my last time with you, I would have went out with a bang. I'm going to forever keep your name alive no matter what. We don't question God. We stay strong through everything. I'm a man. I'm going to hold it down. Um, and this is what she said. I wonder what my death bring my family back together. Then, then I'm over all of this back-to-back -back pain I'm getting. It's like no point in being here. My life been hell for the last three years. So... She is absolutely in um, in a mode where she does not want to be here at all. And she posted the baby. Um, she's posting what other people are saying about it. But uh, she also said her heart, broken was right, her heart was broken right here. And that was a video about them. Um, and then this was his song. So she isn't saying anything about her calling the police or like, I wish I didn't do that or... I wouldn't have done that if, you know what I'm saying? And maybe because she's just completely grieving and everybody grieves different. Uh, she ain't ready to, you know what I'm saying? She went to, she, she want Krishan and Tesseki to be back close. Um, she really can't get over that. She is so upset about that. Um, so that's where she reverted to. I don't know. I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I hope um, that A, she doesn't unalive herself, but I also hope that um. Well, uh, nine times out of ten, the phone call was definitely her. They were together. That is, you know, what I'm saying that was um her man. You know what I'm saying? So I just hate it happen like that. That's all I can say. I hate it happen like that. So y'all, let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below, man. And that's really all I got for now. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.